In St. Landry Parish, the school system employees are back to work, already making preparations for next school year. But as Amon Boyd reports, with the pandemic, there's still so much left up in the air. After being away for nearly three months, St. Landry Parish school system employees are back in their offices. Superintendent Patrick Jenkins says they are following the governor's guidelines to ensure the safety of all employees. One employee will enter the building one at a time into the foyer area. When they come in, they have a series of questions that they must answer related to COVID-19. And in addition to that, we take their temperature. Factors such as age and health concerns went into making the decision of reopening. All employees are required to wear masks uh, when they're not in their offices. We have other disinfectant and things for the, each work in our workspaces, as well as signs that are posted uh, in terms of uh, maintaining social distancing. As for next year, Superintendent Jenkins says no definitive plans have been made when it comes to in-person learning, but they are using their virtual school program as a test in case students have to to learn from home in the fall. This is unprecedented times, but we want to ensure the public that we're working really hard, the board and I and the staff in coming up with a plan that's going to be uh, beneficial to students and employees so that they can be safe come uh, fall of this year. In Opelousas, Iman Boyd, KTC TV3. Well, the district is also working to figure out how visitors can safely enter the school board office. Jenkins says next week they're anticipating opening the building back to the public on a limited basis.